Hi, what we are going to do today is we are going to put Easy Drummer on, a, on an instrument track in Logic and we're going to make it multi-output and then also make a drum bus out of those multi-output tracks. So let's get started. First thing you'll need to do is you'll need to create an instrument track. If you don't know how to do that, you just uh, click on this plus sign here and this window opens up. You can click on this details uh, carrot arrow thing here and then go down to your AU instruments, choose Easy Drummer Multi Output and we'll go ahead and click create. Okay, great. So I'm going to get rid of this first track because I don't need that anymore. Ew. There. Okay, from here I'm going to go ahead and choose the rock kit because I really like this kit. I'm going to choose the original mix. Wait for that to load. And then I am going to I'm going to put some MIDI on this track first just so I have something to listen back to. And you can do that by going to your browser window, clicking on something. I'm going to choose this. And I'm going to choose a fill just so I have something to listen to. And I'll choose uh, a chorus. Okay. <laughs> Gonna repeat the chorus. Okay. And then I'm going to set my locators so that this plays over and over again. And I'll go ahead and press play. Okay, so this has some toms in there and that's good and that's kind of what we need. This first one, I don't need it to be so long for this example. I love tune track. Okay, now um, nothing has happened yet. Let me go ahead and open up the mixer window. You can do that really easily by pressing the X. And then once you have this opened, now, instead of on a regular stereo track, this little plus sign doesn't show. Uh, but now that we have a multi-output track, uh, in our mixer window, we'll see that this little plus sign is now there on our instrument track. So we're going to go ahead, uh, I think there's like 16 tracks. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and press plus a few times, and you'll see that these are stereo tracks up here. So um, 15, 16 is the last one, and um, so that gives us eight tracks altogether. So um, let me go ahead and press play, and now you can see each instrument on its own track now. And they're not. And why is that? Well, but that's because I haven't set Easy Drummer to say, hey, send this to track two, send this to track three three, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So we'll put our kick compression on track one. We're going to keep that on one. Snare number two. Snare compression number two as well. Hi-hat three, four, five, six. Actually, I think all of these need to be on track number four for all the toms. I want them all in the same one. And then uh, overhead is going to be five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I'm not going to get into these other ones to the side here. One shot, shaker, tambourine, and, and percussion, ambience. Um, I haven't really explored that too much, but I am familiar with these tracks here, and I know that they add up to eight. Okay, so I'm going to press play again, and now you'll be able to see all these uh, tracks in their own individual tracks. In instruments in their own tracks, okay. okay. Nice. 
Okay, so great. Now we have all these tracks down here in our mixer window, but they're not up here in the other window. So what to do? So first thing you got to do is you have to select all of them first. If, uh, if you just have one selected, the little menu option won't show up. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to click in options because what we want to do is we want to create tracks for selected channel strips right and all we have right now is one track selected so that option isn't available so I'm gonna select all of these and then come up to my mixer window menu click on options and create tracks for selected channel strips and voila everything is there oh but one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to name all of these so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna solo this that's our kick so I'm going to go ahead and double click on this uh, to rename it kick and I think this one is a snare snare <clears throat> hi-hat uh, I'm going to say toms because that's all three uh, two three four yeah toms sorry I'm getting confused here overhead ambient drive and subcomp. Okay. of having to use Easy Drummer up here. And another benefit is that I'll be able to put my own reverb on this snare if I choose. And uh, one other major benefit too is that now I can put all of these tracks into um, a bus, uh, a drum bus, um, which from that drum bus you can add like say an Ampex um, tape uh, machine or something on there to give it a little more depth. Um, you can add an overall compression to all of the tracks um, or you can just have reverb on the snare and not on anything else. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and do that now. Um, now that everything's named and nice and neat, we're going to come up here to our main window and then we're going to uh, select all of these tracks. Select kick, press shift, and then uh, select the bottom one and that'll select all these tracks and then from here we will right click and we are going to select new oh, oh sorry create track stack um, all right create track stack and we are going to choose a summing stack because we want to potentially add these um, um, effects and stuff to it folder stack is more for just organizing when you put want to put all the guitars um, in one place but you don't you're not going to be doing any effects on all of the guitars together or whatever so in this particular instance for drums um, you use a, st a summing stack all right so now we have that together and we're going to call it drums So that's pretty much it, and that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, please ask away. And I hope you found this video useful, helpful. Thanks. Bye.